Okay, we're given f of x equals 2x minus 5, and we want to complete uh, these different parts based on that. So the first question is asking us for f of 3. Now what that is asking us to do, it says f of 3 means what is the y value when x is 3? So what you're going to do is whatever is inside the parentheses, you're going to put that in to this equation in place of x. So to do that one, you have 2 and then Instead of the x, I'm going to go ahead and write a blank there on that one, and we also have minus 5. That's our template that we're going to use. Whatever is inside this parenthesis is going to get written inside that one. So this is 2 times 3 minus 5. That's 6 minus 5, or 1. So f of 3 is going to be equal to 1. That's the answer. Next, we want to find f of x plus 3. You're going to do the same thing. This time we have 2. We're going to Remove the x, so now we have a space that's there. Whatever is in this parenthesis is going to go inside this parenthesis, so I have x plus 3 is going to go inside there. Now I want to do some simplifying on this. We're going to distribute the 2. I get 2x plus 6 minus 5, and I just need to simplify this. I get 2x plus 1. And that's as far as I can go. Because I'm not given an actual value for x to put in, I'm not going to get a numerical answer here. I'm only going to get an expression only. So this is as far as we can go with our answer, 2x plus 1. Now they want us to find f of x plus f of 3. Well, each of these we've actually, we actually already have done for us already. f of x was just the original equation right here that was given. That's 2x minus 5. And then f of 3, we already did that already in part a. So all we're going to do is just substitute the two different pieces in. f of x is 2x minus 5, and f of 3 is going to be 1. So I have 2x minus 5 plus 1, and we're going to simplify this, and you get 2x minus 4. So what this says is notice that these two are not equal to each other. A lot of times I see some students trying to distribute the f and that's going to go into each of those. Well, you're not allowed to do that. You can't do f of x and f of 3 because we see right here that we got two different results. That means that these are not equal to each other. You're not able to distribute that. The last one, they want us to find f of x plus h. So we're still going to do the same thing. We have 2 times a blank minus 5. The blank here gets filled in with whatever's inside the parentheses there. That's x plus h. Once again, you're going to do it a uh, simplifying step, 2x plus 2h minus 5. That's as far as you can go with your answer, because again, we don't know x and we don't know h. So that's as far as you can go. You'll leave your answer as that.